New information tonight about the Chinese spy balloon shot down earlier this year. The details coming from the classified documents allegedly leaked by 21-year-old National Guard Airman Jack Teixeira, arrested by federal authorities this week. The Washington Post, citing documents not seen by NBC News, reports that Chinese spy balloon carried sensors and antennas the U.S. still had not identified more than a week after shooting it down, and that the U.S. knew of up to four additional Chinese spy balloons. The paper also reporting on Taiwan's vulnerability to a Chinese attack, citing a Pentagon assessment that China would quickly gain air superiority if it invaded Taiwan. U.S. Secretary of State Blinken today addressed fallout from the leaked documents. We have engaged with our allies and partners since, um, since these leaks came out, and we have done so at, uh, at high levels, and we have made clear our commitment to safeguarding intelligence and our commitment to our security partnerships. There are also new insights tonight into why the U.S. government didn't know for months that state secrets had been posted online. At issue, the limits on what kind of checks are done on the 1.3 million Americans with top secret security clearance. Right now, there is not a social media uh, evaluation done. Uh, there's not an appetite for that. But what they do online is not evaluated by any agency as part of their security clearance. Former counter-intel chief Bill Evanina says he pushed for more social media monitoring, but privacy concerns won out. Critics say the government now can't keep track of all the people with access to sensitive information. Does the U.S. government have a good handle on who these people are, what they're doing online, whether they hold extremist views, that kind of thing? Well, clearly the answer is no.